So Led Zeppelin arrives, and of course, uh, Jimmy Page had been around the circuit in rock and roll, and Bonham was crazy, and, and uh, Robert Plant was a bit of a neophyte at that time, but uh, he got in the groove pretty quickly. And so Led Zeppelin uh, was always stretching the limit, stretching the envelope every day. How nuts can we be, right? Uh, to the point that they were a constant danger wherever they were. Uh, we prayed that the police would not show up, you know, because there was trouble, trouble, trouble. Uh, so it was decided that to keep things secure, we had to really focus on staying at three hotels when they're in the United States. And that way we could have security at each hotel, the management would understand the deal, management's making a lot of money, their Led Zeppelin's hotel, and so on. And those three hotels were the White Hall in Chicago, the White Hall in Houston, and the Edgewater in Seattle. And uh, uh, interesting that, well, you see, they burned down the top two floors of the Roosevelt Hotel in Las Vegas, I mean, in New Orleans. You know, I mean, there'd been some bad stuff. And <laughs> so... Uh, but the Edgewater in Seattle was probably the most famous of their stops because they would take all the furniture out of their rooms when they left and throw it in the bay. Uh, they were disgusted with the Edgewater's furniture and uh, the televisions and the whole thing. So that was a, an annual thing. Uh, when they checked out, you know, they had five or six rooms and... All the furniture goes out the you know, big sliding glass doors. It's out over the water, the edge of water is in Seattle, built on a pier, and the furniture, the couches, the television, out the window and into the bay. Uh, and we would pay the bill, which would be split, you know, 85, they pay 85% and we pay 15%, you know, tour expenses. I didn't know how to point out to them that the Edgewater, every time they would arrive, they would be in different rooms. And that they were, in fact, helping the Edgewater redecorate their rooms, you see. They'd move them around. Fine, you're here for two weeks, then you're gone, then you're back here for two weeks. They're in five different rooms, right? Why? You know, the hotel's being refurnished and Led Zeppelin's paying their share. <laughs> uh, Bobby Sherman, the singer, uh, had bought a Boeing 707 and customized the inside. Uh, it had uh, circular beds and TVs in the ceiling and an organ and a bar and so on, a neat airplane. So we would uh, charter that uh, for our tours. And uh, if it was Elton John, it would say Elton John on the side of the plane. And when Zeppelin had it, it would say Led Zeppelin on the tail, you know, and so on. And, uh, and uh, that way we could uh, fly to the different hotels and do any city. Uh, from Seattle, we could do Denver and Oklahoma City and so on and so forth. And from Chicago, we could do Boston and so on. Fly to the town, do the show, get back on the plane, and get back to the hotel for the night. Robert Plant's a neat guy, okay? Truly is. In Atlanta, he came off the stage and was sad. He said, I lost my ring. Uh, it had been given to him by a person that was very dear to him. And he was so frustrated. And uh, they got in the limousines and they left. I went out and looked all over the stage and looked underneath the stage and probably spent half an hour looking and I found the ring and the ring was damaged. I don't know whether he'd hit it on the mic stand or what, but it was damaged. So I brought the ring back to Seattle and took it to a jewelry store and had it fully repaired and a couple of new stones added. And, and uh, when Zeppelin was here in town, I uh, took them out of my boat for an afternoon. We went over to a place called Blakely Island, which is in the middle of Puget Sound. And, had a great conversation with him and sort of a picnic. And that afternoon, I said to Robert, I said, uh, 
you remember in Atlanta when you lost your ring? He said, yes. He said, well, I got something for you. And uh, he got a tear, and uh, that was fun. <laughs>